So I've got another little quick tip about lighting. I have finally figured out how auto exposure is supposed to work. Uh, the issue that I was running into when we did it in class is that the exposure compensation was set to one. And that's too high. So behold my scene. Um, I don't have post exposure changed on my color grading. And my auto exposure is set this way. I haven't changed filtering at all. My minimum EV is set to negative four, so it can get much brighter. Um, my maximum EV is set to one. My exposure compensation is set to 0.5. And I have changed the speed up to one. It used to be two. I'll probably make that smaller as well. And this is the output that I get. <clears throat> uh, nope, I need game view, please. So if I look at this bright floor, you can see it gets um, not overblown. If I back up a little bit, you can see that it's very dark in the corners. Okay, not that dark. Um, but as I get closer to it, it gets much brighter. It gets much brighter. And now if I look over at this area, it's, it's blindingly bright. I also turned Bloom off uh, for a bit. It was overpowering. Um, but as I move into this extremely bright area, the colors adapt. And now everything looks the right way that it should. And if I look over there, the dark areas are very dark. And so as I move into those dark areas, they get brighter, which again helps with lighting. Uh, so auto exposure is awesome. I'm probably going to change the speed up and speed down to 0.5 and 0.5. And maybe I'll change the minimum EV to negative 3 because these scenes are really bright. Not 0.3, negative 3. And uh, if I turn the bloom back on, it's probably just really strong. So I'll change it back to something like five and hit play. So bright scene is bright, but adjusts itself down over time. And the bloom isn't too strong. This all looks normal and doesn't have too much bloom. And if I look over at the dark areas, they're dark. And if I go to the dark areas, they should hopefully start brightening up as I'm in here. Um, but, you know, they might even stay pretty dark. So there's the bright bloom. It's bright, you know, going from a dark area to a bright area, and then your eyes adjust. In real life, this takes me, like, I don't know, two minutes. It seems like an eternity. And so I'm very happy with the audio auto exposure as it's working here. Um, I'll probably change my auto exposure to be something like... 0.2 and 0.2 so that it does take a long time for the eyes to adjust i think if you walk into a bright area it should just be too bright for a while and you know too dark for a little while and i don't want the the bloom effect to be like visibly getting brighter and brighter as your eyes are adjusting i don't really want that to be noticeable i want it to just kind of happen so i'll get into this bright area and we'll just slowly watch as it gets more reasonable and more reasonable. And, you know, it might, it might take a little while. So there you go. That's all.